to stay on education because the sector minister, Dr. Matthew Pukuprempe, says the ministry and its related agencies have not approved any comprehensive sexuality education document for use by teachers in basic schools. At a press conference today, the minister maintained that the National Council for Curriculum Assessment has not submitted to the ministry any document relating to the CSE, which has become a subject of huge debate in the country at the moment. When asked about the CSC guideline document making rounds purporting to be from the GES, the minister said as far as he is concerned, there is no document emanating from his ministry and none of same has been approved for use anywhere. That document that has been done by PPAG, UN, uh, UNFPA, has got nothing to do with the curriculum we are running as Ministry of Education. So when the National Population Council or uh, UNICEF or, uh, or UNFPA or PPAG has a document to do with comprehensive sexuality education, it does not mean that the curriculum, standard-based curriculum that we have rolled out in school does contain comprehensive sexuality education. The fact that United Nations or UNESCO or UNFPA or UNICEF supports comprehensive sexuality education. Just like other countries, there are certain rights that are legal. It doesn't mean that those rights are legal in Ghana. And the fact that we all belong to UNESCO and UNESCO promotes an agenda, it doesn't mean that when you come to Ghana, we do it 100%. That is what you got, the distinction you got to get clear. That when people wanted to promote something that was alien to Ghana, Ghana said, in this country, that is not allowed. And I'm saying that, I'm happy that you said it was uh, Population Council and UNFPA and PPAG that are circulating drafts. Even if somebody develops a draft policy document, it has to go through an approval process. And it will go through an approval process. And it doesn't mean it will be accepted important documents going around as part of comprehensive sexuality education. It's not owned by the Ghana government. It's not owned by the Ministry of Education. Dr. Matthew Pokuprempe making an emphatic statement there. Well, he also says the training for teachers for the rollout of the curriculum did not include issues relating to comprehensive sexuality education. He's also been urging faith-based groups to and other CSOs to critically study the approved document before commenting on the issues. For, and again, I want to emphasize, we have finished rolling out KG1, KG2, Primary 1, Primary 2, primary three, primary four, primary five, primary six curriculum that the schools have started, that the teachers have been trained. And nobody has been able to show any document that talks about comprehensive sexuality education. Between last week and this week, people are showing on their social media pages books of comprehensive sexuality education. How do we marry the two? So textbooks have not been approved for this curriculum yet. That's why we did the teacher resource pack as the first stop. So no matter who shows you what, and the director general is here, he will answer to it. But I'm not sure the director general has even approved at his council, let alone coming to government. A sub-agency under the Ministry of Education doesn't approve policy for Ghana. So even if the Director General has a document, it has to go through one, the Ghana Education Service Council, before it comes to the Ministry, before we take it to Cabinet for approval. That is only when that document becomes a national document. Now you need to know that in February this year, the Education Minister at a UNESCO program launched what he described at the time as Comprehensive Sexuality Education Program, which has been cited as the beginning of the controversy. The subject of sexuality education has become a very important matter, particularly for the youth in our societies. Indeed, the changing societal context, characterized by the free flow of information, media pluralism, and the social media, has necessitated the need for education systems to provide accurate information on sexual sexuality education. We in Ghana have a guideline that I've shared with you that we see it is imperative 
if this nation should develop, that sexuality education should be part of the curricula that we would launch this year in September, all the way from kindergarten to senior high school. Let me congratulate UNESCO and partners for the timely nature of this high-level dialogue among ministers of the, four, of the four regions, Eastern, Southern Africa, Western, and Central Africa, to shape the discourse and the implementation of comprehensive sexuality education in Africa. Ghana has long recognized sexual and reproductive health education as a conduit for addressing issues affecting the youth in this area, originally provided by elders and other traditional leaders in community. Aspects of reproductive health education were introduced in the school system with the advent of formal education. Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe will at the press conference today. However, the minister backtracked. Listen. And we, were launching, we were launching a program of UNESCO. That program is not comprehensive sexual education. It's O3, our rights, our values, and the third, O, oh, and our world or something. That is it. Our rights, our values, our rights, and our world. That is a program that, if you read what you read carefully, everybody heard sexual and reproductive health. In Ghana, the minister that represents UNESCO on behalf of government is education. At that program, all the ministers, about six ministers, were in attendance for UNESCO. Sanitation, because they are there because they are there, uh, and other ministers, tourism, because they are there, gender, because they are there. UNESCO has a broad range of activities. So UNESCO comes to launch a product here. So that adolescent and reproductive health, if you leave here now and you go, you will get a document on adolescent and reproductive health. That includes sex education or sexual education. As somebody said, the name comprehensive is what people are battling with. Sex education has been part of the curriculum in Ghana since the 1940s. In fact, today, one president of FIDA say that they have been going around with UNICEF in communities on this sexual and reproductive health. That is also education. It doesn't necessarily mean that the curricula for running schools includes comprehensive sexual education. They are totally different. If the Ministry of Health or for that, the Ministry of Information goes around and in, 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 uh, is educating the public on our civic rights, does it mean that civic rights is in my curriculum? It may be, but it doesn't mean so. So people should get the distinction because this distinction has a difference. Comprehensive sexuality education, the controversy seems to rage on. Hopefully, what the minister has said will put it to rest, but let's see how it goes in the course of the week.